What's going on, everybody? Little PSA reveal. Uh, this is like my last of the July special. It was all the, was it 95 and older stuff that came back in? Um, real quick, though, today, real quick. So, first up, you guys remember the Jack Lambert came back a four rookie. You have to try to improve on finding something around at eight on to him. May end up having to just buy it outright because trying to find this stuff raw, really hard. Now, I knew there was some bleeding down here. I was really hoping to get a little bit of a higher grade, but we take what we can get and just keep on upgrading later for the PC. You guys remember I picked this up, Mazeroski, 60 tops. Came back a 6. Really impressed with that. Uh, of course, just centering really, really was the big piece. But really nice and clean. Very happy onto this and thankful. Yeah, I think the rest of these are all the same. Yep. All right. So there should be two, three, four, five, six, nine. You guys remember when I won the 989 Top Shirty Griffies in a Raz for like 20 bucks? So I got them all graded. Keeping with the tradition, <laughs> two out of nine came back at 10. Rest of them, sevens, all eight. These are all nines going here down. So, nothing crazy. <clears throat> Definitely beat the overall percentage rate. Uh, hoping to get three out of it all. But, hey, take two. Either way, <clears throat> this is a pretty good profit just off of this order. Because just one of these pretty much, I think, comes close to paying just for the grading and what I have into all the cards, really. Uh, so the, all the nines just go DC sports. They sell for like 30 bucks or so. I'm just going to plop them onto him, get what I can back onto it. These here are just straight big profit. And then, like I said, just going into my vintage stuff, starting to go back that way and upgrade and get stuff that I don't have for later on. But next one is in assembly that I have. And if you guys remember, it's the, uh, Fleer Authentics, uh, Barry Bonds. It's the one that's kind of like a 5x7, but it's not 5x7. It had a weird measurement to it. So we're going to see if we can beat the highest grading. It kind of like you guys remember box toppers. The highest one grading is a PSA 6. I think we had a shot of getting a 7 and having to pop one of that stuff, but I figured I would get that because it just... That there's a bigger piece, and I just liked it more than some of my other Bonds autos. So I think the other Bonds autos are about to all be moved here later, either today or tomorrow. But other than that, everybody, uh, just want to also put out, you guys probably only get about, see me doing about three to four videos a week. A lot of it's just due to having to make thumbnails, trying to become more innovative or creative with uh, the videos and stuff like that there. That plus, that way it gives people a little more time for notifications to kick through. Because I think uh, doing a video a day, a lot of the notifications aren't getting pushed out correctly. But we'll see. We'll see. If something hot and pot or hot and impertinent comes out, I'll put that out as well, too. Uh, Joey should be getting a box. He might already have the video out by the time this shows. He has a ton of great stuff coming back. So make sure you guys check out the bullpen as well. Other than that, take care. Have a good week. Catch you guys next video.